Hey guys, Luster, and welcome back to another Minecraft mob out here on the channel. Today we have another fan suggested fight picked at random. It is the Netherite Golem from the Golemania mob, which we have never used before. This is its debut in the arena, facing off against the Hydra from the Ice and Fire mod. I'm really excited to get into this. Let's not waste any more time. And of course, if you guys have been enjoying the mob battles on the channel, smash the like button, share your support, consider subscribing if you're do and consider subscribing if you want to, and leave a comment down below for more fight suggestions, and one will be picked for the next video. And without further ado, let's get right into this. So this is the Netherite Golem 300 health for armor bars. He looks crazy. Um, I think my sound is low though, so we're gonna up that a little bit in case there's like sound. Anyway, versus Hydra, let's go, round one. Oh, he like blocks too, that's really cool. He's doing a considerable amount of damage against him. I really like this thing. Having never seen him before in the arena, first impression. Oh, he's getting all cracked too. I do like that's effect that's been added to the golems over time. Ever since vanilla Minecraft added like the iron golem getting cracked if he takes damage. I like that now like other mods are adding that effect to their golems. It just makes sense. He's put up a fight though. Hydra's getting his heads chopped off. But he's still fighting back stronger than ever. Now what's interesting is Hydra's not taking any more damage. Oh, he just took a, a little bit more damage. So he only takes full damage once all of his heads have been chopped off. Interesting. And Netherite Golem down to 7 health but actually still alive. So we got to give it to him. And I'm not sure if these mobs function better in the day or the night, so I'm going to keep it day. Let me know, guys, by the way, anytime you suggest a fight, if you know for certain a mob specifically needs it to be nighttime to have more abilities unlocked, you know how, like, the mutant zombie uh, heals and stuff at night. Uh, if you know it's a mob I've never used before, always let me know, like, hey, you might want to keep it at nighttime just so it gives more effects. Anyway, on to the next round. Uh, Netherite Golem versus two Hydras. Let's go. I think he's going to lose this round, though. He's got to fight against two of these monstrosities. Not to be confused with the netherite monstrosity. I should also mention that the mods that I used in this mob battle will be linked in the description. So you guys can check them out for yourselves and, uh, you know, enjoy them. Have fun with them, etc. But yeah, I've never, I've never seen... Oh, uh, just a little bit of context, by the way. Also, this Golem Mania mod is only available for 1.16.5. And also, it's only ever had one version update. Like, it only ever has, like, its base version. It's never updated. So, I'd actually check to see if it was a new mod or not. I just saw that it only has one version. So, I don't know if that means the mod's never updating or what. But just to let you all in on that. Yeah, so the, the Hydra can't die until he knocks off all the heads again. So he defeated one, he's on to this one now that's literally got multiple heads. And it looks like the Hydra has won the second round. Understandably so. He could barely uh, fight off one. Anyway, on to the next round. So we got two Nagas, or not Nagas, Hydras, sorry, versus two Netherite Golems. Let's do it. I'm struggling to not say the different names because every time I say netherite, I want to say netherite monstrosity because that's from the other mod. And with the uh, hydra, for some reason, I've always struggled in calling this thing a hydra. I always want to call it a naga. I don't know why. It's just a me thing. I apologize. But this is a fairly even fight though. For a mod that we've never used before in the arena, it has impressed me. I give it full points. I also like the creature design. It it's, um, it's literally looks like a golem from Netherite. He's made out of Netherite too. All speaking of, one has fallen on both ends. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy marveling at the, at the fact that this creature looks so cool. I like how he goes into like defense mode also. Like he like blocks damage for a little bit because he's like, I'm taking too much damage. Help. Help me, somebody. 
Also, a little bit of a fun fact while you guys are watching this premiere, if you guys didn't know, my birthday is actually tomorrow. I was born December 23rd. So for anyone who who didn't know that, yeah, I, I was born. I am a human being, believe it or not. But yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. So I'm just letting you all know that. No reason whatsoever. Anyway, uh, Hydra winning it again. So we're on to three netherite golems versus two... Hydra, let's go. Also, totally unrelated note, if you guys didn't know, I actually do have the ability for you to become a channel member if you uh, scroll down in the premiere chat or the video it, that you're watching. Uh, there's a little join button. If you click that join button, uh, you will be presented with a list of tiers that you can pick between. And uh, those tiers will, um, you know, help support me on the channel and all the things that I do, as well as give you cool badge next to your name and let you use custom emojis in any live stream, any premiere I do, any uh, comment section as well. So uh, just let you all know. Totally not any reason why I just said that. Just, just letting people know because, you know, some people might not know that's a thing. Well, uh, Netherite Golem's destroyed at this round, as expected. They kind of outnumbered them. So let's move on to the next one. So one, two, three versus one, two, three. Let's go. I like how it's also poison versus fire. Like you got the Hydra spewing poison damage everywhere, whereas the Netherite Golem is using fire. When it attacks. I don't know where the fire's coming from. I think it's like breathing it from its mouth. <laughs> but really cool. It also sounds like they're forging too. Like it sounds like they're using like the anvil and stuff. It's really, it's a really cool sound design. I like it. Oh no. Oh no. My mans, you're going to get overwhelmed now. They do seem to become too much whenever they grow too many heads. Like, it just overwhelms so much. Because you have to take out all those heads and before they grow back as well. He just can't hack it. And the hydra has won this round too also if you guys didn't know i think it's if it gets a kill if the hydra gets a kill it heals back to full so it, it can get pretty crazy um but we are on to four versus trace let's do it let's do it Also, I want you guys to let me know, in vanilla Minecraft, if you were to fight one of these two creatures in vanilla armor, who would you feel more comfortable facing off against? The netherite golem or the hydra? And, and that's the rule. You have to be in di you, not diamond, but you have to be in vanilla armor. It can be enchanted and everything, just... Also, did they win? What happened? Guys, I, I like blinked and they all the hydra were defeated. Okay. On to the next round, then, I suppose. One, two, three, four. We'll call this the semi-final round as well, versus one, two, three, and four. Let's go. And then we'll do a big final round. I just want to get the ratio correctly in the final round, so let's see how 4v4 operates. I mean, if the, if the golems team up in, like, 2v1, at least one of them at the start, they'll have a advantage and be able to tackle the others. Because in a 1v1 situation, they can hold them off pretty, pretty well. So if they just work together, they can manage. Yeah, so like they're doing right now, actually, because there's only two hydras left. And I think there's three golems. Make that two golems. With, yeah, so... It gets a little tricky, but they just have to tank the damage for a little bit just so they can wipe out one, but it's too much. They was able to defeat the last one, but the final Hydra has too many heads. It's going to be too much for him to handle. Yep, there he goes. Look at you with your four-headed self being all satisfied. All right, on to the final round. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on this side, I'm going to spawn in ten as well, just to keep it fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that was ten. There we go. Let's go. 
Final mass of battle. Let's see who comes out on top. I'm hoping the netherite golem surprises me, but based on what we're seeing, once they start growing more heads, it just gets a bit overwhelming. But we'll see. Yeah, I already see some of them with three or four heads, or with four or five heads, I should say. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that, look at that. Look how many survived this poor golem. <laughs> He's supposed to be the more menacing one too, but just look at that. He can't, nope, it's over. <laughs> Literally, look at this. They, <laughs> they look so ridiculous with their like seven heads. Oh my gosh, it's over guys. It is over. If you did enjoy today's mob battle, please leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing if you are new. And comment down below which fight you would like to see next so we can pick one for the next mob battle. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.